welcome to this explanation session of basic microcontroller circuitry for an 8 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller so here we have three basic sections in the basic circuitry the first is the power supply section which is this one the second is the crystal section which is this one and the third is the reset circuitry which is this one we'll go one by one through all of these First of all, we are using here an Atmega328 microcontroller. Atmega328 is an 8-bit microcontroller which comes in a package of 28 pins uh, in a DIP package. So let's go through the power supply section now. The power supply section here, uh, the connector is shown which is a 12 volt DC in. That means the input gear given here through this connector is a 12 volt DC input which can be given through any 12 volt adapter the DC 12 volt is then filtered out through this capacitor which can be any capacitor in the normal range like here we have used a 10 microfarad capacitor this capacitor is polarized which means that the negative end is connected towards the ground and the positive is connected towards the positive of the supply. The 7805 regulates this input of 12 volt to 5 volt and uh, it keeps it steady to 5 volt. This 5 volt is then again filtered out so that any high frequency noise or low frequency noise are filtered out and what we give what we get as an output is a pure DC or input of 5 volt. So now once we have the power supply we can feed it through, through the microcontroller through pin number 7 and pin number 20. These two are the VCC of the Atmega328. After VCC we need the ground. So the ground is pin number 8 and pin number 22 so we have two VCC and two ground connections for it mega 328 after the power supply section we have the crystal section here in which we have the crystal which is 16 megahertz crystal and we have two capacitors which are 22 picofarad now the talking about the crystal the crystal can be of a value like 4 MHz, 8, 12 or 16 depending upon the configuration bits you are setting in your code. Then the capacitors are used for filtering out the high frequency noise which may otherwise disrupt the frequency generated by the crystal. This crystal signals are given to 9 and 10 pin numbers which are XL1 and XL2 the 1 mega ohm register is just to limit any noise and then we have pin number 21 which is analog reference pin which is not used in this case because we are just explaining the basic circuitry once done with the power supply and the crystal now we are here to the reset section the reset section we have here is connected to the pin number one through the pin number one it goes to the power supply that is 5 volt through a resistor which is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and it's this end is connected to a switch which is a manual switch whose other end is connected to a ground Whenever the switch is pressed, the power supply drains through the switch and thus giving a 0 volt at pin number 1. When this pin detects a 0 volt, it resets, the pro it resets its program counter. When this pin number 1 receives the 0 volt, it resets the microcontroller. Thus, the, this way the reset section works. And once these all have been implemented we are ready to go and use the microcontroller for 
any purpose we want to use by coding it and connecting its peripherals. So this was the basic explanation section for Atmega 328 microcontroller. Thank you.